Hey everyone, it's Seth with Jensen USA and today we're going to be looking at post mount and IS mount brake adapters. So the first thing we want to do when we're looking at brake adapters is to take a little bit of a history lesson. And I know we don't like to do history when talking about bikes, but we need to in this situation so that we understand where the two different brake adapter setups come from and why we're still using them. So uh, in biking, there's not a lot of standards, even though we say they are, um, they really aren't standards uh, like we would like to see. So uh, what happened with these brakes is we went from having normal rim brakes and we decided to do uh, disc brakes. Now, we had to figure out how we were going to mount that and how everybody else was going to do it. So there was a bunch of different little tests, different sizings, different mounts, and basically we all settled on to one called International Standard, which is the IS mount. Uh, that is a 51 millimeter distance between the mounting bolts to the brake adapter. And what was really cool about this is it allowed for different size rotors, shimming and moving of the caliper in order to make it fit your bike so we could have all kinds of different frames and get that brake to fit on there. It was a really cool design. With that being said, it wasn't the best design. And as we went, we went through and found that a post mount really simplified things allowed us to deal with less adapters, still built in some adjustment into the brake caliper itself, and we got even more functional with the way we did brakes. That's why we kind of ended up with two different designs. Now, we're first going to look at the post mount style on this bike, and then we'll take a quick look at the IS mount as well. Um, IS mount used to be found on forks often, uh, as well as frames, but now, uh, forks are primarily going to be the post mount style while frames still for the most part are going to be IS mount. Uh, this is changing with several companies like Focus and Giant and companies like that doing post mount uh, frame adapters instead. Um, and we'll show you some examples of that. All right, so let's look at how uh, a post mount looks. This is a post mount here and you can see the post actually means that we are screwing directly into the back of the fork. Uh, it's not coming in from the side here, it's actually coming from the back towards the front of the fork. And that's where the name post comes from. It's just a straight post coming across here, right? Pretty straightforward how that works. Now, if you are still wondering, like, is this post mount or is this IS mount, you can grab a caliper or you can get your tape measure and you can actually measure across either your, uh, your fork here or if you have brake adapters and you're trying to figure out what kind you can measure across and basically you're wanting to look at uh, center on center where the bolts will go. So you can see that this is a, a basically exactly 74 right here uh, center on center which means that this is a post mount. Now, the beauty of post mount is that it directly mounts on there. So you're not guessing, you know, what length um, adapter you need going uh, from a sideways mount or IS mount to a post mount style. Um, all brakes nowadays are made as post mount. So you are always going to be adapting from an IS to a post mount currently, unless you have a very old brake. Um, and with that, you have some adjustability, uh, both side to side uh, and a little bit of the rotational aspect of it so you can get your brakes aligned really nicely. So post mounts are really slick. Um, we'll talk about sizing a little later, but post mount really helps to uh, get it so that you can easily figure out whether you're running a 160, a 180, a 185, a 200 or a 203 rotor, which adapter you need. So now let's go take a look at IS mount. Okay, so now we're at the back of our example bike here and we are gonna be looking at the IS mount that is on this frame. Now, like I said, IS mount is currently the most common mount for frames. However, frames are starting to see more post mount. Now IS mount means that the bolts are gonna come in from the side here and be going across the frame. So you're gonna be bolting 
from your frame to the brake adapter and then ultimately to your caliper. But the first set are going to be going from the side across. Now you notice the second set of bolts from the brake adapter to the caliper are coming vertically. That's a post mount style uh, caliper that you're uh, bolting to the brake adapter here. But this brake adapter is an IS mount because you're looking at what uh, the interface is between the frame and the brake adapter, okay? So we want to look at the sizing of this now because that's going to help us differentiate. Now remember we talked about post mount before and post mount had a 74 millimeter distance between the bolts, right? Well, let's look at what the distance is here. So again, we're going to see if I can get this in here. I'm gonna look at this center to center and uh, that looks like right about 51. That's 51 millimeters. Now I know from being in the industry that that is the correct length for an IS mount brake adapter. You'll probably see this when searching around our site. You'll see 51 millimeter IS mount or 74 millimeter post mount. That's gonna help you differentiate which one you need. Now, the only other thing you have to consider when you're buying your brake adapters is gonna be your offset, which is gonna be a zero or a 20 or 25 or something like that. But that's gonna be for a future episode because that takes some really uh, in-depth learning there to make sure that you get the right one for the right brand with the right offset with the right rotor. So that's pretty much what an IS is gonna look like. Remember, it's gonna be a post mount caliper most likely to a post to IS brake adapter to an IS frame. All right, let's take a look at some of the examples of our uh, brake adapters. So here we are, and we're gonna look at some brake adapters now so that we can get a bit of an idea of what these look like separate of the bike so that you can really understand what's going on here. Now the first one we're gonna look at here is a 185 post. 185 used to be a pretty common number for us, but it's definitely going away uh, because most brake manufacturers are setting up for a 180 millimeter size rotor now. So this is a little bit of a dinosaur, but we have one laying around, so we'll show you. Now, you'll notice on this one that it's not very uh, thick here because we don't have to offset from the frame or fork standard that's there uh, very much. So to get that 185 to fit in, uh, it's just a little bit of an offset. Now you'll also notice that it only has two holes on this and that's because the bolts will come directly through the caliper, through the brake adapter and into the frame. And this one's a pretty straightforward, pretty simple one. Now we do have an example here of a 203 post. This is going to be for your you know, big downhill bikes or somebody who just wants a lot of braking power on their trailer all mountain bike. Now this one is a little bit different, it has a bigger offset going here and it has four holes here. The upper holes are for the bolts to the caliper itself. Um, those are gonna be what joins the caliper to the brake adapter, while the lower holes are gonna be what joins the brake adapter to your fork. Um, so this one's a little bit different in the way that it looks, but same concept and all four of those holes are gonna be a 74 millimeter distance apart from the corresponding hole on the other side. Now let's jump over to the IS mount ones. We've got a couple examples here. Uh, these are gonna be a four bolt as well, but two of those uh, holes are going to come from the side, while two of the holes are gonna come from the top. The ones on the top are for your caliper, the ones on the side are to cinch this up to your frame. The side holes are gonna be measured at a 51 millimeter, while the upper ones are gonna be measured at 74 millimeters. This one here is a zero millimeter offset. Um, so this is gonna be for things like, depending on whether this is a frame or fork IS, a 140 or 160 setup. Um, and then here we have a 20 millimeter offset, which is generally gonna be for things like 180s. Um, and then we have a nice big one for a 203. This is actually a 203 front, so for an older style IS fork. Um, now you'll notice that there is an arrow on these and pretty much on all of them we've seen that. That arrow indicates which direction, whether this is supposed to go up or towards the front of your bike. Um, now, 
The only other thing to really focus on with brake adapters is which one is going to work for your 160 or 180 or 200 or 203 or 185 or finally the old uh, small rotor size of 140 and you're going to need to learn that. However, that's for another episode so we will hit that in a later episode and make sure that you pick the right brake adapter for the right rotor for the right brakes. So this has been Seth with Jensen USA, your cycling experts.